Hi guys, welcome back to the must must know questions 31 today, and uh, this is the 50 must know questions on the Mindworks channel. You are with me, Arun Sharma, and uh, we are looking at again at a good good question, high quality question uh, based on averages today. Uh, a question which uh, a lot of people will have difficulty in solving based on my experience of the kind of doubts I get from my books, etc. And for those of you who are watching this uh, this thing uh, in 2022, you will see that these are all questions which are coming up in my 10th edition. So I have picked up select questions that I have built for the 10th edition of my Quant QA for CAD book. And uh, these questions are coming from there. So, of course, later once the book is out, you will, you will have these questions with you. And this, I think, would be an LOD2 question if I'm not mistaken. A library purchases 15 books for 9,000. Now, when you, when you read this statement, and I always believe, as I've told you in the previous lessons also in this course, and please look at it as a complete course and make sure that you watch all the 50 videos because that is what will actually give you value uh, in terms of uh, learning uh, over, over a period of time and over a series of questions. Uh, watching one of videos here and there will not help you much. So make sure that you watch the entire playlist. We'll also bring out the whole set of questions. Once I'm done with the questions, we'll also bring out the whole set of questions as one video, maybe later. But uh, Abhi Kelly, you've got this, uh, this as single videos. So the question says, when you read this statement, a library purchased 15 books for 9,000. You have a variable that is emerging out of this. And that variable is, if you're buying 15 books for 9,000, your per book cost is 600 so that's the average cost of the 15 books this this uh, statement has a derived variable which is missing in the statement itself so you have to be able to understand from this statement and that's what the good people do that from this statement they're able to understand that there's an average price already uh, which i can see inside this statement and and when you start thinking that way and you start seeing things like that way you start, uh, you start uh, eliminating the need for second rounds or the second readings inside questions. So let's keep going ahead. What does it say? 13 of these books were purchased from Amazon and two was purchased directly from McGraw Hill. So what this question is telling us is that of these 15 books that we have purchased, 13 have been purchased from Amazon and two have been purchased from McGraw Hill. The total cost is 9,000. That is still there. And the average cost which you derived from the first statement was 600. The question goes further and it says, it is observed. What is observed? It is observed. Now this is a critical statement which you'll have to understand. It is observed that one sixth of the average price of the 15 books purchased is equal to one fifth of the average price of the 13 books obtained from Amazon. Now these are the kind of statements in which people who are slightly weaker at maths uh, have, have a problem understanding this. So to, in order to understand the statement, what you need to do, what you should do is, first of all, identify this comparative, which is one of the standard structures in mathematical language all the time, is equal to, is greater than, is one more than, is, is less than, is double, is half. These are all comparatives that keep coming and you've seen this in other questions that I've shown you in this series and will continue to show you in this series. So whenever there's this comparative, there's a number on the left side and there's a number on the right side. So if I break this reading, I'm trying to, I mean, this, this, the, the, the language uh, is equal to, the is equal to language, oops, the is equal to language is always structured in mathematic language is equal to language is always structures n1 is equal to n2 so there's a number on the left and there's a number on the right so we need to identify what the numbers are so it is observed that one sixth of the average price of all the 15 books now do we know the average price of all the 15 books yes we know the average price of all the 15 books so one one sixth of the average price of all the 15 books so the moment you improve your focus on a part of the sentence you see that what was looking difficult starts becoming starts looking easy. So what is the one sixth, the average price of all the 15 books? We know this value, 600. One sixth of the average price of the 16 of all 15 books. So 100. So the logic of the statement is 100 is equal to what? What is the other other number being described here? One fifth the average price of the 13 books Amazon 
uh, obtained from Amazon. So if the average price of the 13 books obtained from Amazon is taken as X, so X by 5 is 100. So the value of X will be 500. That's the average price of the 13 books. And that means, once I get average price of these 13 books as 500, I also know that the total cost of these 13 books is 6500. And from the basic situation that the total cost of 15 books is 9000, I also work out that the total cost of these two books that are purchased directly from McGraw-Hill were 2500. And with this information, I move ahead in the last part of the question. When I go there, the last sentence is, of the two books obtained from McGraw-Hill, one-third the price of one volume is equal to one-half the price of the other. So let's say we call these two books A and B. Or well, let's not use A. Let's use these as B1 and B2. What it's saying is one-third the price, one-third again there's an e is equal to here. And the number before that is one-third the price of one volume. So one-third the price of volume one is equal to is equal to one half of the price of the other is equal to one half of the price of the other. So this basically means that 2B1 is equal to 3B2. <coughs> and that means B1 is equal to 1.5B2. And if B1 is 1.5B2 and B1 plus B2 is 2500, it's obvious that B1 must be 1500 and B2 must be 1000. So you got an answer to the question, you still don't know what they have asked you exactly and because you're still going through the first reading and the question that it says uh, then the price of the two books are so the type, price of the two books, they have asked both the prices so the price of the two books are 1500 and 1000 so this is again an example of solving while reading, solving during your first reading you might slow down your reading by around 20% to do this but you gain much more time even though your reading is slower you gain much more time because you've eliminated the, the need for a second and a third reading, which is actually shaving off between 30 seconds to one, one and a half minutes in the question, apart from the fact that you get a much better grasp of the question. So I'll be back with you in the next uh, lesson very soon. Abhi Kelly, I'm back. I'm, I'm taking a leave. And do like, do subscribe, do share the videos, and do comment, and do press the bell icon, and help us uh, reach out to more people. Uh, we look forward to your help. Uh, on, on getting us more popular on YouTube and we are, we are there for you. We are uh, uh, completely geared up for you for to give you a lot of content on the channel and uh, uh, do stay with us. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.